Hello guys, Chris P here and welcome back to another video. Today, my friends, I'm going to be testing a GeForce GTX 760 in 2021. This one is a 2GB model. It's from MSI, as you can see right there. It has a reference cooler, so it's a blower style cooler. It doesn't do a very good job of keeping this one cool, actually. <laughs> now, the GTX 760 released back in 2013 for $249. Nowadays, it can be found for like 50 bucks but I actually bought this one for 35 euros a couple of years ago uh, the 760 was actually the first GPU that I owned as like actually mine you know up until 2013 I only played with laptops and uh, the PS3 as well because my parents wouldn't buy me a desktop PC so I saved up and bought a PC with an FX 6350 and a GTX 760 so it's it it's kind of special to me you know <laughs> the 760 consumes 170 watts of power so it's kind of power hungry for the performance it gets these days and uh, it boasts 1152 CUDA cores uh, from the Kepler architecture so it should still do a pretty decent job in some of today's titles but let's put it to the test here in 2021 and see if it's worth it while you wait for that RTX 3080 shall we all right guys we're now in the desktop and as you can see we got the geforce gtx 760 installed right there uh, we are running the latest nvidia drivers of course for 61.72 it still supports those and i'm not overclocking this card because as i told you uh, and as you saw this is a reference model the test system consists of a ryzen 9 5900x and 32 gigs of ram which is completely insane and crazy to pair with the gtx 760 unless you are one of those people waiting for an RTX 3080. <laughs> But anyways, it doesn't really matter because as long as you don't bottleneck a GTX 760, you can expect the same results. So let's get into it. And the first game that we're testing today is Call of Duty Warzone. We're playing it at 1280 by 720 resolution using the lowest settings. And even on the lowest settings, we are going above our VRAM limits. Ooh, this is rough. Okay, I... Yeah, I I don't know. I, I thought we'd get like 60 here at 720p. Yeah, it, it reaches 60 at times. Yeah, I guess the Kepler architecture isn't really helping the 760 in this game. This is DX12 title. Yeah, it's not a competitive experience, definitely. Uh, but you can still have fun with around like 40 to 60 FPS, I believe. Let me just try to... Nope, okay, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> okay, this is it. We just arrived. I'm gonna see the FPS near the fire. Still 40. All right, not too bad. I expected worse after seeing 30-something or 40-something when we dropped, but uh, that's fine. That's not too bad. Now, this isn't exactly what you want to get if you are after a newer GPU like the 3080 or 3070 and you can't get your hands on one. Uh, but, you know, it's playable at least. <laughs> I, can't, I can't complain too much. It's an old GPU and... You can play Warzone at 720p. Yeah. There's another one. He just dropped. He wants his revenge, but he's not gonna get it. That's good. Okay. Yeah, that's how. Uh, that's his friend, probably. Uh. Jesus, it's so hard to control this with 40 FPS. But it's not impossible. Oh. Oh, come on. Oh, Jesus, man. How the heck? What? Okay. What the heck were you waiting for, dude? <laughs> Why is my weapon red or orange right now? That is really interesting. <laughs> what? Got another one. All right, guys. We're doing this. No! And we are now playing some Battlefield 5 at 720p resolution using the lowest settings, as you can see. Oh, look at those temperatures, by the way. 69 degrees Celsius. That's what I like to see. Let's get into the game. Okay, so this runs much better. Holy crap. I think I would probably choose Battlefield 5. Holy crap. Okay, do I have, like, uh, C4? No, I don't, and I'm dead. That's amazing. All right, we're gonna go with the M1 Garand now. Oh, I can barely see, though. Oh, no! I forgot that I hate Battlefield 5. <laughs> Ooh, 
Okay, okay, got him, got him, got him, got him. You know what? I think you could possibly uh, increase the resolution a little bit because we're getting extremely good frames. I don't remember the 760 to do so well last time that I tested it in this game. Got another one and oh, enemies! No! <laughs> got him. Guys, this is... This is extremely playable. Like, 90 FPS on average? I did not expect that. I expected like 60, 70 maybe. But 90 is just amazing. Got another one there. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, boy. So many enemies in this point. No, 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 no. Come on. <laughs> and it is now time for GTA 5. We're playing it at 1080p resolution using the high settings. We're still going above the VRAM limitations by a little bit, by the way, but it should be fine. And okay, here we go. To no one's surprise, I believe, it runs extremely well with the GTX 760. This game is extremely well optimized and it came out on consoles in 2013 and 2015 on PC. And back then, well, uh, the, the GTX 760 was somewhat of a recent card and a very capable one as well. Fun story, the GTX 760 was actually the first GPU that I benchmarked here in the channel uh, back in 2015, 2016 maybe? And I remember playing GTA 5 with it back then and not seeing anywhere near these kinds of FPS because I was running that FX 6350 so yeah if you want to get 93 FPS on average like we are getting right now. Please people get the heck out of the way. Oh god I am sorry. I am sorry. I'm benchmarking here. Anyway, you'll need something like an i7-4770 if you want to see 90 FPS on average in this game with the GTX 760. If you have something slower yeah, it, you're, you're probably gonna see a CPU bottleneck and not get the same FPS here. Oh boy, big jump. Oh and a flip and stuff that is beautiful now for the highlight of this video by the way most intensive area right here 70s 60s it's dropping quite a bit uh, but still above 60 fps hello jack hello how are you doing buddy oh god i hate this car i didn't hear him saying anything god damn it oh boy no the, the dog is fine the dog is fine okay and we're now playing Cyberbug 2077 at 720p resolution using the low settings preset and low textures as well. Everything over here set to low as well. Grout density is basically the only option that will affect your FPS. Anyways, let's go. Right. Oh boy. Okay. It's... Uh, hmm. Uh, how do I say it? It's not very good. <laughs> Oh my god, this is not even a, a demanding street, guys, and it is in the 30s, it feels very stuttery, although the frame time graph is not too bad, it doesn't feel like 30 FPS. Oh god, no, no, I don't know, it might be the car, uh, the handling, it. oh Jesus Christ, it's dropping into the 20s already, oh boy. You know what, we need another car, we definitely need another car. We're gonna go with this one. Okay. All right. I'm fine. I'm fine. What? Twin brothers in the same car. Look at that. Get out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't, guys. This is so hard to control. I guess it's still better than a PS4 or Xbox One, right? At least it's getting 30 FPS, but... Ah, the game looks really bad. That's mainly because of the implementation of the anti-aliasing in this one. Uh, it's very soft, it's very blurry, I don't like it. It could be worse, but it could be a lot better as well. Oh, we're approaching the most demanding little street now. It's gonna be really bad. Yep, okay, 25, 24. I wouldn't play like this. Just just wait until you can finally buy that newer GPU. <laughs> and uh, don't play these types of games with a GTX 760. And don't buy a 760 to play Cyberpunk, please. We're now playing some Valorant at the high settings, as you can see right here. No anti-aliasing and the 1440p resolution. Because this game is just too easy to run, you know? <laughs> Oh yeah, boy, an ace in the warm-up. 
because half of them were actually AFK. <laughs> okay, let's start counting our frames. It just started and are we good? I think we're good. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. It's all good. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Somebody, uh, yep, there he is. Oh, the same guy. Okay, Yanshi, I know what you're doing. You're stream sniping me. I'm not streaming, guys. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd have like 500 ping. So as you can see, my friends, you can definitely have fun with the GTX 760, even in 2021, if you play the right games for it, of course. Like, Valorant is extremely easy to run, it's likely that you are gonna run into a CPU bottleneck if you have a, a not very strong system, you know? Uh, okay. Ow! Damn, that was a good shot. Come on, I wanted to win by kills, not by the time, but I can't seem to find anybody. Okay. One kill remaining. Only one left. Let's go. Let's go. Yay! All right, there we go. Six seconds left. And we're now playing Apex Legends at 720p resolution using the lowest settings, very low textures. All right, so looking at the entire map in Apex Legends... Uh, it's a little bit rough, guys. That's mainly because, for some reason, Apex Legends never plays well with old hardware, especially Kepler and Fermi and old NVIDIA GPUs. I think, for example, GTX 780, which was a beast back in 2013, it loses to the R9 280, which was the competitor to the 760, actually. <laughs> and what the heck is going on? What is that? I have never seen that before, um, what the hell, okay, yeah, whatever I do, I should not stay here, <laughs> let's go away, right, FPS, now that we landed, are actually pretty decent, oh, ah, no, but whenever you get into a fight, they will become trash, uh, not trash, but you really want 60 plus in Apex Legends, what is this, god, okay, got one, got one, finally, and yes, this is exactly a circle backwards. I... Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. No. All right. Come on. No, guys, please help. Why put the circle right where I landed? I don't understand. All right. What? I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Thank you. Oh yes, you're a life savior and a video savior. <laughs> All right, sometimes you get up to like 120 FPS, which is crazy, but uh, yeah, Apex Legends is very inconsistent. This is actually very interesting. I like the addition of new circles uh, to keep things a little bit different, you know, but at the same time, why me? Why near me? <laughs> oh, Why? This is this is Metro Exodus now, guys. We're playing it at the 1080p resolution using low settings. I think we'll need to play at 720p. All right, here we are, 1280 by 720, low settings. Uh, you can't disable motion blur, by the way. Oh my God, it looks really, really soft, guys. I don't like the graphics like this, but it seems like you can't really get that smooth of an experience at 1080p so yeah pick your poison low fps like 30s and drops into the 20s at 1080p or uh graphics looking like this but at least you still get like 40 plus i guess and i can't start counting our fps as well i can't minimize the game and i can't start counting the fps i don't know what's going on with metro exodus <laughs> but okay sometimes it reaches 60 frames gas mask Oh, that's, that's a mutant guy. Okay, get away. Get away. Why? Get away from me. Oh, whoa, so many. 
Oh boy. Okay, what have I done? Um, um, I want to go back. I want to go back. Oh god, I keep missing, I think. <laughs> I can barely see. Like, it's really hard to see. 32-inch monitor at 720p. It's way too blurry. At least with the kind of anti-aliasing that they use in this game. Ugh. No. Why do you keep coming? You know that you'll die. Why? Oh, 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 oh that's a big one. <laughs> All right, look at him. Uh, what are you doing, buddy? Are you alright? <laughs> Stop dancing in the ground, what the heck? <laughs> are you okay? Are you gonna attack me or nah? Okay, there he is. Alright, there we go. No, he's not dead yet, okay. What are you doing? I want to help you, I really do. But go. See, you just gotta domesticate them, you know? <laughs> Sometimes it will work. <laughs> Wait a second. What the hell are you doing here again? Dude, stop! And it is time for Red Dead Redemption 2. We're playing at 720p resolution using uh, like low to medium settings. Some things are set to medium. For some reason, I can't choose the DirectX 12 API, only the Vulkan. I think it will run slightly better using the X12, but yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. Okay, here we go. Now, the, the textures are absolutely awful. Like, they look horrible right now, uh, and that's because we only have 2 gigabytes of VRAM. You can go into the config files and set them to Ultra, for example, but... What the heck are you doing? Come on! Roach, Roach, I didn't, I didn't want you to do that. We are in Saint Denis, and the FPS are slowly dropping, yep. Oh boy, for some reason, that train is extremely intensive. Like, you get near it... And the FPS dropped by a lot. What the hell? Why? It's not too bad. And I'm aware that Saint Denis isn't really the most intensive area in this entire map. You guys have told me another area to check out. And I'll do that in the next standalone Red Dead Redemption 2 video. But you know what? This is a playable experience. You could also uh, drop the settings to low instead of low to medium. Yeah, for some... Oh, okay. Roach, Roach. I was seeing the FPS near near the, the thing there. Come on. Locate and kill the rats. What the... It's harder to kill rats than I imagined. Okay. What the... Stop it. It might be the FPS, guys. Maybe aim for a 60 FPS experience so you can kill rats better. <laughs> I never imagined that I would be here killing rats. In 2021, testing a GTX 760. <laughs> and this is Rainbow Six Siege. We're playing it at 1080p resolution, 90 FOV using the low settings with 100% render scaling. Okay, here we go. Let's start counting our frames here. And it seems like it's going to be a really, really good experience in Rainbow Six. Now, this is a competitive title, so you might want a high refresh rate experience. But this is still pretty good and playable, especially if you have like a 75 hertz monitor or 60 hertz. What is happening? The good thing about Rainbow Six Siege is that this game is extremely, extremely consistent when it comes to the frame rate. So it won't really move too much from around 90 FPS on average, especially inside. Got one, nice. Guys, stop moving in front of me, please. No, 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 behind. No, okay, got him, got him, got him. Oh, boy. Oh, I have the diffuser, so I'm gonna plant it. Oh, ouch. Okay, I almost hit him. So, 93 frames per second on average and 73 1% lows in the first round. Pretty good stuff, guys. All right, second round, here we go. Just located the bomb there and it's, it's gonna be pretty much the same. As I told you, this is very, very consistent. Ooh, that was... Okay, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> All right, well... <laughs> All right, it seems like smoke effects are a little bit intensive as well. And it's kind of dropping at times to the 60s. Not bad still, obviously. And we're now playing the clunkiest game ever. This is PUBG. We're running it at 1080p resolution using the medium settings. Right, let's get wrecked, shall we? Let's start counting our frames here. And I absolutely, like, completely suck 
in PUBG. This is deathmatch, by the way, not the battle royale mode. I'm hearing tons of shots and really, really loud shots, and I can't really see anybody. Okay, we're gonna go here into the menu. Yeah, it drops our FPS by a lot there if I tab in. I don't see, I can't see any enemies. I haven't seen a single enemy so far. What is going on? Okay, one of them, two of them. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> oh, the recoil. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. One kill, guys. <gasps> I can get them from behind. Let's try this. No. No. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> that worked. <laughs> what the heck? Another one. Another one. Let's go. There's another one there. Oh! We won! Yay! 50 frames per second on average, 1% loss of 37 whenever you go into the menu. Yep, it drops. Um, yeah, this is playable. It's a playable experience even at medium settings. And we're now playing Watch Dogs Legion at 720p resolution using ATFOV. Should I lower that? Eh, let's lower that. Uh, and uh, we're also utilizing the low settings. Yes, this is set to high, but this is the low settings preset. And maybe we should use lowest uh, texture resolution because... Yeah, even on the lowest, it uses 3 gigabytes of VRAM. I'm just gonna set everything to the lowest, and I'm not gonna disable TAA. And here we are, my friends. Uh, it's looking very colorful and not that pretty because of the resolution. But still, if you have a smaller monitor, this is a pretty good experience. And look at that frame time graph. It's very consistent. I've never seen it this consistent in Watch Dogs Legion with any GPU that I tested so far. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it got an optimization patch or something. I was expecting it to run really badly, but no. All right, we're getting, yeah, near water in the bridges and stuff. It starts stuttering a little bit and the FPS drop into the 30s at times. They still haven't fixed that issue for some reason. I don't think they care anymore. <laughs> but yeah, this, this is okay. I like this experience. I could happily play this game with a GTX 760 and have fun with it. But it does look pretty bad on the 32 inch monitor, that's for sure. <laughs> but anyways guys, I think that's it for Watch Dogs Legion. We've seen a couple of stutters near water, uh, but so far, so good. 50 FPS on average. And this is Horizon Zero Dawn, we're playing it at 720p resolution, 100% render scale, 80 FOV, using the Favor Performance preset. Okay, last time that I tested Horizon Zero Dawn on a Kepler GPU, it was blinking all over the place and it still seems to, to happen here. I, I wouldn't play this game just because of the graphical issues and the graphical bugs, basically. The game hasn't been optimized for these older cards, and that's why that happens. It also warns you every time you launch this game uh, that your VRAM is not enough. You need a minimum of 3 gigabytes to run this properly. That also might be why we're seeing these issues. Not too sure because I haven't seen them with the 2 gigabyte GT 1030. So yeah, it's definitely something to do with the architecture of this GPU being old. Uh, the GTX 780, the 780 Ti, the 690, the 660 all had this behavior. I guess Horizon Zero Dawn is a little bit broken for these cards. That said, it's a much better experience than what it was back on launch day. So there's that. You know, it's not dropping from 30 FPS at 720p with a low settings and it's not blinking as much. Not the best experience, obviously. Far from it. I would rather play it on a PS4 to be honest, but still, it's it's not bad. Oh gosh. Jesus Christ, the screaming of, of those robots or whatever. Okay, we're dead, we're dead. Let's get to the next one. So we're now playing Fortnite Battle Royale at the 1080p resolution using medium settings with 3D resolution set to 100%, so it's native 1080p. We're also utilizing the DirectX 11 API instead of the X12 because it works better than the other one. Okay, so we're going to the Whipping Woods. I'm just gonna check that orb thing out because I have no idea what that does. I'm kind of curious. Okay, so that guy just disappears. Where is it gonna... 
Oh my god. Oh. What? Seriously? I'm here still? Nothing happened. What is... Why? Now this game suffers from tons of stuttering. I'm gonna start counting our frames here. But if the 1% lows go below 60 and you don't see uh, the FPS actually going below 60 FPS, it's because of the stuttering. Like right now, it's in the 40s already. If you play a couple of games, it will smooth out the experience by the third or fourth game. Um, but yeah, the first game is always a stuttery mess. It's not because of the GPU, it's not because of the other specs, obviously. It's just the game that it's broken. It's always been like this. Somebody told me in the last video that it's actually because the game is still rendering the previous map from the previous season. Uh, although you can't really see it, it's still being rendered, so it stutters. Yeah, Fortnite, don't bother fixing it, please. <laughs> no, we don't want smooth experiences. Now, I gotta give it to the 760, though, it's performing extremely well. The Whipping Woods is basically the most intensive area for the GPU to render in this entire map, and... It's doing a fantastic job. I didn't see it drop from 60 yet. And of course, if you want more and more consistent frames, you can always drop the settings to low and have like somewhat of a high refresh rate experience. Uh, yeah, this is this is good. I, I think I'm going to rage quit because I hate stutters, but it's... Uh it's performing well. All right, we're playing Far Cry 5 now at 1080p resolution using the normal settings or medium settings, whatever you want to call it. And to my surprise, it's actually running smoothly. So um, that GTX 690 video that I made uh, that was a stuttery mess was definitely because of the SLI and not the VRAM amount because... Yeah, no stutters whatsoever. It's not a 60 FPS experience and it wouldn't be a 60 FPS experience even at low settings. That's why I chose medium for this one. It looks way better than low and it's still playable. I actually played Far Cry 3 with around like 30 to 40 FPS. Okay, I gotta mute the video now because this game has a copyright problem. Yeah, the, the songs in this game are just... are all copyrighted. Oh my god, oh my god, oh I'm dead! Yeah, RAM utilization is pretty high. Probably because we don't have enough VRAM. Is that an enemy there? Is that an enemy? I don't think it is an enemy! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> I think we just killed a person! Are those enemies? No, those are friend... what? No, no, a guy... the guy is friendly, the others are enemies, okay. Got him, and got him. It's such a shame to see the GTX 690 struggling so much in this game, though. It has the horsepower to run this at 60 FPS, uh, but uh, it just stutters way too much, so it's not playable. SLI problems. That's why you shouldn't SLI cards these days, guys. And finally, for the last game of the video, we got CSGO. We're playing at 1080p resolution using the high settings and four times MSAA anti-aliasing. Oh boy. Okay, no scope and what the heck. It's a little bit stuttery because this game is kind of broken, especially in deathmatch. It will be a little bit smoother on the 1% lows if you play competitive instead of deathmatch. Look at that CPU utilization though, <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, I got him, got him. Damn it, I'm having a little bit of ping. Yes, ping spikes everywhere. Ah, come on. Got him now. Got another one. Okay, we're doing this. This is... Yeah, it's very playable, guys. You shouldn't have a problem uh, with CSGO and the GTX 760. It's more than enough for this game. Gosh! No, 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 no! I didn't shoot! <laughs> no! Die! Ah. No, you bastard. The heck do you want? Bastard. 
there's... Gosh, okay, okay, we're doing this. Okay, we lost, but uh, it was probably because of the ping, okay? It, it, anyway, anyway, it's, it's pretty good. So my friends, it is conclusion time and let's ask the question. Do I recommend the GeForce GTX 760 in 2021? I don't know guys, I don't know what's happening in the market these days. No, but seriously, if you're waiting for a new GPU to be in stock, you might as well pick one of these up for like 40 bucks and play a few games with it. Because I, I don't recommend it for the latest and greatest titles, of course. But you can still play a lot of games like CSGO, GTA 5, Valorant, Dota 2, Overwatch. We didn't test those two, but they will run absolutely fine on a 760. Yeah, I think you can still have fun with a cheap and old GPU like this one. And that's why these days, in 2021, I think a 760 makes a little bit of sense for some people. So thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next one very soon. As always, love you all. Bye-bye.